yes hello everyone welcome once again to my channel this is your girl Nora now to the ladies and the couples I am going to throw more light about the safe days yes safe and unsafe days safe days are those days where you can't get pregnant where you can't conceive and unsafe days are those days where you can conceive and this is going to be on a 28 day cycle yes those people who have 28 days you are the people i'm talking about so if you're new to my channel hit the subscribe button down below and the notifications bell so that every time i post a video you get notified without further ado let's get into this video these days love to do family planning and child spacing using natural methods of contraception some use neem oil therapy others use breastfeeding therapy others use the castor beans therapy and others use the moon beads and the safe days this is a disclaimer please note natural ways of contraception are not for everyone for example on the safe days this i'm talking about a cycle of 28 days not everyone please take note otherwise you must be consistent you have to be alert you don't have to be someone who is lousy does things anyhow doesn't know how to count doesn't live by the book you have to be careful to use the natural ways and you have to know your body well so today in this video let me answer this question for those people who keep asking me on how to count the safe days yes thank you so much let's go the day you start your period is called first day day one if your cycle is 28 days which is mostly the cycle of most women this means that your next period is expected on the 28th day i hope you've understood me well the day you start your period is called day one day number one so if your cycle is 28 days it means your next period is expected on the 28th day if you're counting from one two three four like that on the 28th day is the day you're expecting your next period so here we go i want you to follow closely deduct 14 from 28 in order to detect the ovulation days what do i mean here this simply means that ovulation will take place on the 14th day let me break it down for you properly if you start your period today that is day one start counting tomorrow is two three four five six even if you stop the period continue counting on the 14th day that's when ovulation is taking place it's the 14th day from the first day of the cycle the cycle began the day you went in your period which i said is day one please note that sperms that are poured in the vagina will remain active for about four days it could be more days even in some cases so now this is the breakdown what are the safe days from what i've told you from the first day to the seventh day those are safe days and from the 21st day to the 28th day those are the safe days we have you have a two window period the first one 
is first day the first one is first day to seventh day the first day you begin your period to the seventh day when you're counting those are safe days then skip the middle now from the 21st day to the 28th day the day you will see your periods those are also safe days and from the 21st day to the 28th day, those are the safe days we have. You have a two window period. The first one is first day. The first one is first day to seventh day. The first day you begin your period to the seventh day when you're counting those are safe days then skip the middle now from the 21st day to the 28th day the day you will see your periods those are also safe days now what are the unsafe days what are the fertile days those days where you can easily and highly conceive from the 13th day to the 16th day, those are highly fertile days, unsafe days. Please note, this is very important. This does not work with all women. It only works best with women of the normal and regular 20 day cycle of the normal and regular 28 day cycle those women with irregular abnormal cycles should never and should not attempt to use this safe days method for the simple reason that their fertile days and ovulations periods too are not so obvious like for those women who have regular 28 day cycle so enjoy but stay safe and this goes as a word of advice to the ladies my fellow ladies who are having an issue of irregular periods fluctuating cycles these are some of the things you can do to normalize your period practice yoga it's very important you can do it at home in the gym or even get an instructor or you can even use these online videos please 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 ladies maintain a healthy weight know your bmi hmm? i've i have videos i'm going to tag a video down in the description and after this video how you can boost your fertility as a woman exercise regularly add ginger to your diet add cinnamon to your diet too take those supplements ladies people who keep saying supplements are for the rich they are not you can't get enough of what your body needs of what your body needs from just the food you eat Take supplements, get your doses of vitamins every day. Eat a pineapple, alkalize and detoxify. I will record a video about alkalizing and detoxification and it will help many of you. Thank you so much for watching, for listening, for understanding. If you don't understand and you need clarification on something, you can hook me up on noraarake.com forward slash booking and leave me a comment in the comment section if you want to add something i let's share let's discuss let's understand each other so thank you so much i hope you followed i hope you've understood thank you so much for watching my video to book a one-on-one -on -one counseling appointment go to noraarake.com forward slash booking 
leave me a comment in the comment section give this video a thumbs up and share it thank you don't forget to follow my handles facebook is at nora82 i am underscore nora and twitter is at nora charimba thank you so much i love you see you in the next video bye